and we got KDP PLS Power City at KDP Crypto. Solana, go follow at KDP Crypto, please. Solana did a 1,200x in 574 days. Luna did a 1,000x in 658 days. Pulse Chain has 20x the community, better founder, airdrop for 217 million wallets, 150 plus projects building, net deflationary bridges, DEX day one, native stable coins, hex. Uh, what's your take on that? Yeah, I saw that and uh, I really liked it. I like it too. Some really good points. Um, the thing is, is that um, I agree with all the metrics, except 20x the community is actually maybe not good in terms of X's because Hex had a very small community and then it became very large. So if you got in when it was small, then you were able to get a 10,000 X. Now Pulse Chain's community is bigger. So it's going to take more, you know, that that's more sellers. Uh, so it would take more economic energy to get that 10,000 X in under two years. My take is that it's not going to be a 10,000 X in under two years, but I think it's going to do, it's going to be the story of the upcoming bull market. But, um, and it's probably going to be the best performing asset. I think we could see a 1200, 1200, uh, 1200 to 2000 X uh, in pulse chain, especially. Um, but 10,000 X just seems a little bit of a layup to me. Like what it's going to 10,000 and then everyone's selling like, what do you think about that? Are we getting a 10,000 X in under two years? Oh, man. I don't know. I know for sh what I feel really certain about is I'll be surprised if we don't do more than 100 X, you know, within two years. I'll be really surprised if we don't do more than that. Um, but yeah, I mean, but even if even if we did do a 10,000 X, I guarantee the majority of people wouldn't sell because once oh well we did the 10,000 x now we're gonna we're gonna do a hundred thousand x and we're gonna do 10 times better than hex guys if you're selling at the 10,000 x you're an idiot and then you know, <laughs> be like 10 percent or market cap's the vanity metric it's going to a hundred thousand x yeah ex exactly i mean remember we were at 50 cent hex it was like we're hitting a dollar now oh it's uh, hex already did this many x's you think it can't do a 2x from 50 cents to a dollar you're an idiot you know like yeah. that's how the brain works of you know that's what, <laughs> so i feel like you know i don't know i mean maybe i i like to think anything's possible in crypto you know i have no idea i do remember uh gerardo said on his stream ten thousand x in under six months <laughs> i thought that is actually insane i really don't think that's gonna happen i just i always think of that i'm like did he really does he really think that like i'm like yeah, wondering well, like he's, I don't know. He's a very intelligent guy, and he I does, know right. And he, but he does buy into a lot of like indicators and moon math, which I'm not a fan of. Not not obviously anything against him. And uh, I remember he had the regression rainbow, and it's like based on this, like it kept on bouncing off the rainbow. You know, Bitcoin uh, hex was going a million dollars within like uh, a couple of years. I don't I don't know if he said that in particular, but just on the rainbow trajectory, and it's like. It doesn't just go straight up. It starts to level out. I mean, that's just the way it works. You know, assets become more mature and the returns diminish and you change, uh, you change uh, security. Uh, you get, you get uh, safety in exchange for secure security in exchange for safety, meaning it becomes a safer asset, but also a, uh, no, I said it wrong. You, you get, you get a safer asset, but a sl slower appreciating asset. That's just really the way it works. That's why if you look at the Bitcoin, it originally goes up very quickly and then it levels out. Um, and obviously there's corrections along the way. But um, I think Bitcoin did a 10,000 X very quickly because Bitcoin also nobody knew about it when it started. Um, Ethereum, I don't know how many wallets participated in, and how much money participated in the uh, Ethereum ICO. I'd imagine it's a lot less than Pulse Chain, but yeah i wonder too though like because i feel like one argument is more people know about it so like it'll be there'll be even more buy pressure you know because like oh like hex no one knew about it and we pumped now so many people know about it so like we're definitely gonna pump way it's way opposite. harder it's yeah that's what i'm saying like you're saying that also means there's more people to sell um so yep. i don't know it's that that makes sense um yeah, and you could double the amount of holders of Hex from its in, its inception with only four thousand wallets. To double the amount of Pulse Chain wallets, you know the amount of people that bought Pulse Chain, you need twenty five thousand. 
So I really don't think we're getting the 10,000 X. It seems a little too much like a layup. doesn't matter. Like doesn't matter to me. I'm not trying to sell tops and buy bottoms. I'm just, you know, going to maybe take a little bit of profits and I'm going to DCA. That's it. End of story. But, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think we're getting a 10,000 X in under two years? I hope I'm wrong. There's uh, also there's also the fact that everyone's coins are getting copied over and people are incentivized to come that's over true. because of the cross chain yield farming. And there's the, it's so deflationary. That be, yeah, that could also be the catalyst of like we're going to get this a ton of people coming over because people do chase. You know, there are those yield fiend. There's a large like community, and I think a lot of these guys are going to start talking about Pulse Chain once they're like, "Look, guys, you can get yield here," because there are like yield based YouTubers who are like, "I'm on this chain now because this protocol has this yield, and I can do my Rube Goldberg machine yield <laughs> jump five different places, and I'm making ten thousand dollars a week." <laughs> then after they, but that's the thing. It's like once you're on Pulse Chain, you're probably going to buy Pulse even. In ex in excess of what you need just for gas, just because you're like, hey, this is a great chain, let me invest. Uh, that's what really happens. So there are a lot of, I think the fact, my overall point is there are a lot of uh, fact, like the fact that you know there's a bigger community for Pulse Chain's inception. I don't think that's good in terms of the amount of X's it could do. Um, but I think there are a lot of things that you know has Pulse Chain that Pulse Chain has that's working in its favor in terms of the amount of X's it could do. Like, uh, like the deflationary, um, you know, aspect, like the world's largest free airdrop. Like that's probably the greatest onboarding method of all time. So, uh, could it do 10,000 X? I think it's possible. And I would never, ever sell Richard Hart short. Seems a little bit too much of a layup, but, uh, like a layup for me. But if you think about it, if we're in early, um, the people that get in, you know, after the thousand X are probably going to be expecting it to uh to do maybe an 100x from from where they buy within that cycle right so they're going to be holding for a hundred thousand x from from bottom and then the people that sell the ten thousand x are going to be like a, a very small uh minority at that point like the people that got in on the hex sacrifice um you know and and had it since inception are going to be a very very small compared to the amount of people that are expecting like 50,000, 100,000 X's. So maybe it'll just be easy. Maybe it'll get that layup. They'll get that sell at 10,000 X. Um, but I don't know. It's a little bit hard to, uh, I don't know. It seems a little bit too easy for me, but at the same time, I would never sell Richard Hart short. So uh, that's what I would say. Uh, we got 81 watching. So 82 watching. So if you're feeling lucky, send a super chat. But if you're not, like this video, subscribe to the channel and uh, go to Ben Dubard's channel. Uh, at Ben Dubard and go to bendubard.com. Subscribe to Ben Dubard's channel. And Ben, what do you think about this? We got 82 concurrent viewers. It's awesome. Thank you, everyone, for being Do you have here. a message for the for, for your fans? <laughs> Not really. Thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. Subscribe to me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't want, subscribe. Yeah. You have to and become a member for three, four, five dollars a month to Peru Finance. I will say I, I did try to make videos on my channel that will help people who don't understand crypto well understand Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Um, and also people who are in crypto who don't maybe know a lot. I tried to make videos that would be good for onboarding. So I don't know, you can go check those out. Um, where I explain what's a DEX and then why Pulse X could be like a really cool DEX. I kind of explained what a fork is and why Pulse Chain could be like a really awesome thing. Basically just explaining the general idea of like taking one thing and making it better. Yeah. You guys new to Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X? Go to Ben Dubard's YouTube channel and go to bendubard.com. Bendubard.com. Yeah. So I've and, tried to cater to like new newer people. So maybe that could be cool. Maybe yeah, but it's helpful. You, you know what? If you're not new, you should go there anyway. 